Statue Hunter 75 reviewing another piece. Um, this is the Hot Toys Commando Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's John Matrix MMS 276 scale collectible figure. Obviously, it's from Hot Toys and Movie Masterpiece. So that was the front of the box. It's kind of a wrap around with the side of the box where he's shooting the rocket launcher. That's pretty cool. And then the other side of the box and the bottom of the box. And then of course the back of the box. Let me see here. It's kind of cool how they make it like a movie with the uh, credits. For the people that helped make it. So if you want to pause this, you obviously can. But that's pretty much the back of the box in a nutshell. Let's get to this piece. It's very nice, very detailed. The boots are like, you can see they get like mud on them. and It's not actual laces, it is a sculpt. But the rest of it's fabric. <clears throat> I like these certain hot toys because I don't really, you know, I don't play with them. I don't pose them around. I just set them in one um, position and leave them almost as if it's like a statue for display. So, like, I like when they don't show many joints. Like, yeah, you can see the joint there at the wrist. But the watch hides that one. You can't really see a neck joint. And obviously there's no elbow joints because it's those the special uh, like rubber arms that Hot Toys does. So it's pretty amazing. Let's let's go over the detail here. I mean this guy is just armed to the teeth um, <laughs> with accessories. He comes with obviously the rocket launcher. Uh, other people do Hot Toy reviews and they review the stuff in depth. I haven't posed the way I want them, so I'm not going to start showing you how realistic these are, things are. Like, honestly, I could tell you, this thing right there, you pull that metal thing, it pulls out the rockets, come out with the four rockets. Um, you can bend over the, uh, the eye thing right here. You know, to aim, you can flip that open. It's very realistic. Like, all the weapons are fully functional. Like, he has a Desert Eagle here, which took some time for me to strap in the holster so I'm not going to take it out but you can actually cock the weapon uh, it, it's amazing it shows like the little bullet in the chamber and stuff um, this one where you know is functional too this rifle um, I kind of like the pose that I have him in it looks like he's just you know the part of the movie where he, he's just going to war and um, <laughs> he's just got everything the detail, it, it's going to take me forever to go over this. All right, so the Desert Eagle goes in that holster. Um, the watch was a separate accessory. Of course, the rocket. Uh, this thing actually has Velcro, and it has, like, the actual Claymore in there with the with the uh, remote detonator. Uh, look at the detail on the arms. Let's get some focus here. It's amazing. Just, like, look at the the... Let me try and get him in focus. Come on, let's pick up some focus, iPhone. Usually this camera is pretty amazing. There we go. Look at the veins in the arm. The veins in the arms are amazing. And then you can see the veins in the forearms, the stitching in the fabric, the paint all over them, the camouflage. It says U.S. Army. At first I was a little upset with the, uh, the face sculpt. I don't know, they can never really nail a good Arnold face sculpt. I guess that's okay. I'm kind of like seeing a little bit of Ben Affleck there. 
don't know why. Every time they do like a Terminator or any Schwarzenegger thing with the spiked hair, it looks kind of like Ben Affleck. I don't know. I do see Arnold a little bit. I think the Sideshow premium format statue actually had a better facial likeness to Arnold. And the Terminator one too. The term, the first one, the police shootout one. But, I mean, it, it, the detail is amazing. All the little accessories with the grenades. So much detail. The binoculars. More grenades. The Uzi. All the shotgun shells, which I had to put in individually. The zipper is functional. I had to zip up the vest. This knife goes in there. <clears throat> I ran out of room for him. I got an Uzi around his neck because this no, he's so loaded. He's got a shotgun on the back. Yeah, the shotgun is fully functional as well. Just amazing. I mean, the facial likeness isn't the best, but the, the actual piece overall is awesome. Like, it looks... So much like him from the movie. He's very movie accurate. Let me see on the base it says Commando John Matrix. Bennett! <laughs> I think that was the bad guy's name, Bennett. <laughs> I can't remember if one of his lines when he threw the knife at him and... Stuck him to the wall and he said, stick around. <laughs> anyway, enough of my uh, Schwarzenegger impressions. Actually, from the side, that, that looks really good. The face, the likeness to Schwarzenegger. So that, I guess it is pretty damn good. Hot Toys didn't fail again. So, there you have it. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the review. Of uh, John Matrix, yeah, Commando, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Alright guys, have a good night.